Butch Stearns joins me now, and let's just hop right into this fact that Bill Belichick has lost as many games with Tom Brady as he's lost without Tom Brady, and Brady was here for 20 years. I mean, what do we read into that? So I think it leads me to an obvious question that I will ask and answer myself. It's always the best when you do that, right? The question is this. What would the Patriots' record be this year if Tom Brady was their quarterback? And, and what's my, the answer? My answer is 5-2. <laughs> and two. History tells us that. This year tells us that. Do you disagree? When you think about the opportunities that they've had, and the issue I have with a game like this, football is not always a game of inches, but today was an example of a game that was a game of inches because without that fumble, this team is a tying field goal away or a go-ahead touchdown away from suddenly narrowing that gap in the AFC East, giving people hope, a game within the Bills and the loss column. It's totally different, but the fumble defines the season. The fumble is indicative of everything that we have seen from this team True. this season. When they're there knocking on the doorstep, they can't get it done. And for 20 years, it was the opposite right. that we saw. He finished. I mean, we can go on and on with the Brady Belichick thing, but let's be honest, Tom. The fumble is symptomatic. Is that the right word? Symptomatic. Symptomatic of Symbolic. everything. That for 20 years, they were going to make that play nine times out of 10. They were going to at least tie the game and usually win it in overtime, if not score a touchdown to win it. So that fumble says a lot. By the way, I texted you when it happened, and the word I used, unforgivable. You cannot fumble the ball. There. And what did I text you back, though? What are you going to bench Cam? No, you're, you're not going to bench, bench Cam him. over the one play. Belichick comes out after the game. He says, Cam Newton's my quarterback. That's not going to happen. It's going to be talked about all week. I understand that. But you don't just put Jared Stidham in there, the interception machine, because what, he's younger? No. All right, so let me ask the question, and I'll give you the chance to answer it first. Now. Okay. Is Cam Newton your quarterback for the rest of this season? Cam Newton's my quarterback next week. If this team is 2-10, and 10, then it's like, okay, white flag. I'm not throwing up the white flag yet. Yes, it looks terrible at 2-5, and five, no doubt about it. This team has shown that they can't finish, and they have to prove that. But when they're 2-10, and 10, see me, and then I pull Cam okay, Newton. Okay, Cam Newton's my quarterback for the rest of this year. Even when they're 2-10? and 10? Yeah, bigger, bigger picture. Are you signing Cam Newton beyond this season, no matter what happens from now? Not even worth discussing yet. I just think there's so much football left to be played, and there's so much that he has to prove or not prove that you put that on the shelf. Be happy you didn't do it yet, because there are a lot of people who are barking that Cam Newton should be getting a contract extension on September 20th. Good thing they didn't do that. Let him prove himself a little bit more, and we'll revisit it come end of December, beginning All right, of January. All right, so they're 2-5. and five. Mm -hmm. They're one of the top worst 10 teams in the league right now they're going to get a top 10 draft pick they have nine games left they go five and four they win seven games on the season this is a six and ten football team isn't it it's looking like they're not going to be a 500 football team which is just astonishing i and you and i were talking about this i had the pleasure of watching 11 seasons of detroit lions football and this is what it's like people <laughs> you're right there you're about to win you're inside the 20 the clock is winding down and fumble and all of a sudden, the, the day goes to hell. Let's talk about a couple things in this game. What did you think of the onside kick? I think that it was probably not the best move at the right time, particularly when things aren't going your way. And it, isn't, it hasn't been the type of season that things have gone the Patriots' way. So, risky. I had no problem with it, except, again, it's symptomatic of a bigger picture. It says that Bill Belichick had no faith in his defense today, that he didn't think they were going to be able to stop them. It also said he was willing to take a chance. It was the one play in the game that wasn't predictable. Josh McDaniels and his play calling on the offense. Please, could you do something that's not so predictable? Can you try on third down a couple of times? Early oh in the game goodness. when Buffalo's riding high, scoring first, everything else, you got these third and long situations where apparently you told the broadcast crew, that's what we don't want to be in the number of times because they kept bringing it up, and yet you run the ball once, and you don't get anywhere near the sticks the second time you get a third and long. It just makes no sense to me. We, I can't believe it's taking this long. Stephon Gilmore, can we talk about how that yeah. evolved this week and the fact that all of a sudden he showed up on the injury report all of a sudden he's not making the trip I mean what are we reading to this all of a sudden there was a story out of Detroit that Matt Patricia Bill's old buddy is going to give him a first round pick he's gone give me a reason that he's not gone he's definitely gone he's not going to sign here you got to get something for him and by the way I would trade him and I'd be shocked if he's on this team by Tuesday morning anybody else you're trading yeah yeah, I mean, now that they're 2-5, and five, uh, I think I'm looking at Joe Tooney. I'm, I don't want to trade James White. I just, my goodness, there's a bad vibe to that. But, I mean, if I'm another team and I'm looking at the Patriots, who do you want? James White would be at the top of my list, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be a tough one. That would be a tough 
Trigger to pull. If right. it came to that and someone said they wanted James White, the Patriots would have a hard time, I think, shipping James White out of town under these circumstances right now. Around the league, can we talk about some of the teams that have impressed you? The Pittsburgh Steelers, 7-0. and Look at their schedule moving ahead. What are you thinking? Tell me when they lose. Cowboys, nope. Bengals, nope. Jaguars, nope. Ravens Maybe. at home, well, no. Washington no. at Buffalo. Maybe. Bengals, Colts, Browns. I think the Bengals they could go undefeated, Tom. They could. I think the Bengals, you know, any team that's undefeated can go undefeated. <laughs> What about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I mean, let's just, you know, let's talk about the elephant in the room here. Are they going to lose a game the rest of the way? They play yes. the Giants, the Saints, the no. Panthers, the Rams, the Chiefs and Vikings at home. I'm not buying in. Falcons, yet. Lions, Falcons. You're not buying in. Why? No, I, because they have succeeded against teams that aren't great. And they have struggled against teams that have shown a good defense. They okay, have not faced that. good defenses yet. So when they face good defenses, which they will throughout the months of November, December, we'll, we'll see. So that's kind of like the Cam Newton topic. I'm going to put that on the shelf for a little bit. So wait a minute. Their season's going to get halted because their offense, led by Tom Brady, is going to get shut down by some defense. They're not going to get better as the year goes on. Did we just capture that on tape? Didn't we may we, have to roll that back if that does just, indeed happen. Didn't because we that's just exactly what that I was just stat? trying to say. Without Bel saying Belichick it. and Brady? Brady without <laughs> Belichick without Brady? We'll see how it evolves. <laughs>